If you wanna talk about destruction, don't you know that you can cut me out? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to play the Beatles song Revolution. Two versions of this, there's Revolution 1 from the White Album, and then there's the more famous upbeat faster version, which you'll find on the Blue Album, the 67 to 70 Beatles album, which is probably more well known. Uh, the White Album version is played in A, the uh, faster version, which to a lot of people, it's probably speeded up. So the Beatles probably played it in A because it's speeded up. It falls somewhere between B and B flat, which makes it really awkward to play along with. So I'm kind of sticking with the White Album version because it's easier to play along with and it's slightly different, but we'll look at the differences. And this is another one that you should be able to learn in five minutes. Now the introduction, the intro to the song, Chuck Berry style double stop, which you can see on the guitar tab. Um, sliding into the fifth. Now the guitar solo, uh, the guitar bit on the fast version goes in the, sliding into the, the A, if you're going to play it in A. So that's the eighth fret of the B. And then the ninth of uh, G to the eighth of B, bend the tenth up to the tenth of E. Then you can hear this B note, and then sliding from D and G, fifth frets, seventh frets even into the second fret. Now that it's that's the faster version. There's a guy on YouTube who goes really in depth on this, on the, the faster version. Check his video out if you really want to get, uh, probably learn off this video, then watch his and you'll, you'll really get uh, to grips with it. The White Album version, after the double stops, instead of going just to the eighth, it does that. And then the nine, eight, 10 bend. And then we have this kind of, that which overlaps with the rhythm guitar rhythm wise a d and e shuffle rhythm uh, the the rhythm on the white album version is more the faster version is more so watch out for that depending on which version you want to do i'm sticking with the white album version and we're going to start on that A and do that five times essentially. Three, four, five. Move to D. Two, three, four, back A, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do it five times again. One, two, three, four, five to D. That's your verse. That's how all the verses work. And obviously you would do the same thing if you were doing the fast version. Pre-chorus, B minor. If you want to talk about a structure. Back to B minor. Don't you know that you can G, A, F sharp. One, two, three, and four. To e, two, three, and four. Real simple. Chorus is just A, D three times when we're going to go. Very good. Then we have this little riff. Da, da. Two open E's. Hammer on to the second fret on the air to the open D, then second to fourth. I originally thought it was, but it wasn't. 
Top tip, if you ever plan something and you think, oh, I'm not sure that's quite right, then it's not. If you've got something right, you will know. If you're wondering whether it's right or wrong, then it must be wrong. But that's it. That's the basis of the song for your verse, pre, intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus. There is, and I've wrote it up, the sheets for this will be on the blog. There's a nice little, uh, try not to drop me iPad and destroy everything. Um, a nice little fill. It's played over the A. You're on the 13th of the, the G and the 12th of high A. 11, 10, 9, 9, 7, 7, 6, 5. And then on that G, 6, 5, 4, let that ring. And then you just hear the third of B, high A. That's worth knowing, but you'll hear that when you listen to the record. So it's always a quick lesson. I've taken six minutes uh, with a bit of waffle of explanation, so you should be able to learn this one within five minutes. <laughs>